got water. Yes. He's just you got water. Okay, if you just raise your hand um, and we'll come straight to you. I think Ali's the first one to put his hand up. Raise your hand, Ali, so we can see you. Oh, go on, Darren. <laughs> uh, Maurizio, lots of tears as well as obviously the joy. Can you sum up right now, what, an hour after, how you're feeling? Well, it's difficult with, with words to describe uh, my feelings and my emotion. I think it's one of the most important uh, night in my life. I think uh, um, how finished the game, uh, all that happened, first half, how we plan to play, how the plan uh, was down after three minutes when we can see the, the, corner, the corner and we can see the goal. And I think, uh, yes, was, everything was amazing. I think um, the, second, the second half, the half time, when we planned uh, to, 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 to make some changes and start to play and to have different alternatives to play, that always believe, never give up. I think it's a lot of work now are in my head uh, that, you know, that are so important. And of course, I think it's the most important that what I want to say is congratulate my, my player. They own the football. They deliver a great job. Um, for me, uh, I said before, they are heroes. I, I told you in the last six months, I think I repeat this uh, synthesis. Um, I think they are superheroes now. Um, to brought um, the club to the final of Champion League. I think it's um, very close to a miracle. Um, no one believed in us from the beginning of the season. We are so close, almost in the, on the top four, and sure, on the 1st of June in, in, in Madrid, playing the, the final against Liverpool. And I think it's an amazing season uh, in our new home. And I think uh, this chapter that we are going to close now, that we are going to stand until the 1st of June, I think can be amazing to, to close the, 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 the chapter, playing a final, and in, ca in case to win, uh, should be an amazing, an amazing book. You okay. said that the, uh, this night is the greatest night of your life. The team talk at half time with the team three 0 down was that your greatest team talk? Most mm, inspiration? Not really, not really. I think um, is this type of moment don't this so cruel the football because we didn't deserve on the first half to go. Uh, on the, on the dressing room uh, to nil, because I think we create a lot of chances, and, but we didn't, uh, we didn't score. And it was so cruel because how it was possible when we planned to play, uh, when it was all clear and concede the goal that we concede, and the second goal after, of course, a, a contra-attack. And I think it was so cruel and, and I think it was a little bit unfair. We, we talk a lot about how we need to keep going, playing. Um, and of course, uh, uh, you know very well that uh, was Wanyama out and, and, and uh, Llorente in and to try to find different alternatives to play on the game. And I think they start to force them to go deeper. And, and I think in the second half, uh, we fully deserve. We fully deserve the victory and deserve the, um, to be in the final. I think it's, it's so fair. Uh, that qualification for for the final, of course, uh, Ajax uh, is a great team. Was a great opponent. Um, I want to congratulate them. They were very good, but I think Tottenham um, uh, today deserve uh, to be on the final. Okay, Guillem, over Thank there. You. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Is there anything that you learned today from your squad or from yourself? Uh, from what happened, especially in the second half, anything you didn't know about you uh, as a manager and about your own team? What? What? what are you? Ah, uh, uh, unbelievable, Guillaume, because you write my my book and I know I can understand <laughs> your your question. We need to do another chapter, by the way. <laughs> yes, we need to do another chapter. Uh, 
I learn a lot. I, every every single moment you learn from from your player, um, they are great teachers. Um, they they own the football, no us the manager. Um, I am so grateful to them, and I am so lucky because. I have a group of players that for me are superheroes after tonight. And uh, I want to congratulate uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, we are so grateful because to, they brought us to the final to, to Madrid. Um, and of course, um, I think uh, every single season and every single tough moment, I think we learn a lot from, from our player, from, from our team. Um, it's a many, many things. It's difficult to describe everything, but I think we are so open always to try to learn from them. Um, and of course, uh, in the last five years, we were so tough with them, trying to push them to give uh, their best. Um, I learned um, a sentence here that is no pain, no gain. And I think it's, it's an amazing thing because um, all that effort that we made in the last five years uh, is today when you realize that um, the, satisfaction, the satisfaction and I don't know, in, in, now you need to, to help me, you know, in, in English, uh, value la pena? It was all worth it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Rags at the front here. Maurizio, congratulations. It's now an all England Champions League final. How do you think you can beat Liverpool? <sighs> Let me to relax a little bit, you know. Um, it's, it's going to be a time to, to talk about Liverpool. I want to congratulate uh, Jurgen Klopp and all the players and Liverpool because I think they were amazing last night. Uh, we enjoy a lot uh, about watching the tie against Barcelona. I think they are heroes too. Um, and of course, it's going to be an amazing final in between two English teams that uh, that uh, we are going, for sure, we are going to enjoy a lot. Will you, will you leave Spurs if you win the Champions League, like you said yesterday? Sorry? Will you leave Spurs if you win the Champions League, like you said yesterday? Yes, I am going to leave, or if I lose, maybe two. <laughs> okay, we've got a question from Ali. Ali, make, make yourself known. Thank you. Marucho, hello. Uh, Lucas Moura was like the calmest player on the pitch today. I mean, it's taken him a while to get to this point, settling into the team. How, how important was he tonight for you? I think scoring a hard trick, three goals. If our players are superheroes, he, he is super, super, super hero. Because I, seen, uh, I think it was amazing. I think he was very clinical in front of the goal. Um, yes, I think uh, a fantastic night, a magic night for, for him. Um, was so important. I think, I think it's, it's so important, you know. Um, I think uh, after five years that we know each other after I, I, we arrived to Tottenham. I think you know very well that always uh, I fight against you uh, because for you it's difficult to understand our rotation when we play with one, with another, that always talking about the team is the most important, not the names. Tottenham is the most important. You know, I understand very well that. Uh, but that show that the, the team is, is more important than any name. And when no play one, play another. And and if you are um, honest and you show uh, respect to 25 players that you need to manage every single day, I think um, this type of, of thing can can happen. And uh, to achieve big things, that is to make very clear that you need 25 players. Uh, and of course, you need to show respect. and. When some player cannot play, when you decide to play with one or another, or use uh, different players during the game, during the the, tem or the, um, the, um, the games, I think um, is uh, that belief in all the squad when it's genuine. I think uh, pay off, and I think uh, Lucas Moura, uh, when he arrived, was a difficult and tough moment. Um, always we believe and push them to. 
to be better. Um, of course, it was tough, um, tough period for him, but you know, uh, always we believe in them, and always we were honest, and always respect uh, him. And look today, uh, without Hurricane, or uh, because uh, many people, many people talking about Sony, but today it was uh, Lucas Moura that scored three goals. And you know, if you don't respect uh, the player, you cannot have only 11 players. Maybe with 11 players, you can win some games. But to be in the final of Champions League, you needed 24 and 25. And the relationship must be always honest with everyone because in some moment, when you need, you need to, to use and they need to give the, give the best. OK, we have one question here and finish with David and John, OK? You know the one? Yeah? Uh, well, Mauricio, lo hago en español. Felicitaciones eh, por la, clasific la clasificación a la final. Se notó mucho una diferencia sorry. entre el equipo del yeah, primer tiempo has, y del segundo. Has to be in English, I'm okay, I can do it in English. Yeah, yeah uh, sorry. Uh, there was a clear difference uh, in the team in the first half and the second half. Could you tell me what was the message that you tried to bring across in the halftime talk? But of course, for the normal people, it was completely different the first and when you analyze because. Uh, Uh, we didn't score on the first half and they scored twice and we scored three on the second half. But when you assess the first half was complete unfair uh, to be on the on the half time to kneel down. I think we, we deserve to score. We didn't score because we weren't clinical and they uh, they scored. But I think uh, in the second half, uh, uh, I think it's normal to push them, uh, to force them. Um, and I think the spirit of the team and never give up was amazing. The belief and the faith was was the principal uh, wasn't the tactical uh, substitution or the or the, or we changed the way to play i think uh, was the belief and the faith um i think that this is is why i think uh, we are now in the final is is not because uh, some uh, technique uh, situation that we change of course that always you have a plan And, and after that, like I told before, uh, football is uh, own the, um, the player own the football, and of course um, that spirit and that never give up. Um, uh, and with of course our advisors um, and of course the plan, the game plan, always um, can happen this type of situation. But of course. I think it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. We are so happy. We are in the final. Um, and of course, we beat a, a very good team like Ajax that were, were beating on the past, was beating uh, Real Madrid and Juventus. And I think to beat them here on uh, Johan Cruyff Arena, I think it's, a, it's an amazing feeling for us. Okay, one from David down here, and then finish over there. Mauricio, Mauricio it's, a, it's a short question. Do you believe in destiny? Of course. I, I believe we were talking about the destiny, uh, but I believe in the destiny when you work so hard. I think only in the destiny to believe in the destiny because uh, it's a nice war. Uh, no, I believe uh, first of all is that you need to, 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 to work so hard, and of course if after uh, you work hard um, and deliver your shop, of course. I believe that the, the good uh, act, and if you are uh, honest, and of course you are going to be reward uh, early or later, I think the reward is going to arrive. Okay, last one over here. Richie, well Hi. done. Uh, two questions. Will Harry Kane be fit for the final? Ciao. <laughs> and uh, one other question. Oh, one other question. Sorry. Today you are going to ask.